Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12, including topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida ang agham. Before you proceed with this video, make sure you have watched the prerequisites. We have a video about the formation of egg cell in flowering plants and sperm cell in flowering plants as too. We will link the videos in the description box below, so make sure to check them out. In this video, pag-uusapan natin ang tungkol sa pollination and double fertilization. Let's start with pollination. Ang pollination ay ang process kung saan ang pollen grains from the anther find their way to the stigma. Meron tayong two types ng pollination. We have the self-pollination and cross-pollination. The transfer of pollen from the anther to the stigma of the same flower or to another flower of the same plant is called self-pollination. For example, we have this bee. Let's call him baby bee. When baby bee goes to a flower, this pink gumamella flower, and accidentally carried pollen grains with him and went to the stigma of the same flower, that is called self-pollination. Another scenario would be when baby bee goes to the gumamella flower and then carries pollen grains with him and goes to another gumamella flower of the same plant, ibig sabihin, same lang sila ng source. That is still called self-pollination. Ano naman ang cross-pollination? Cross-pollination is the transfer of pollen to another flower in another plant of the same kind. Halimbawa, baby bee goes to the pink gumamela and carries pollen grains with him. After a while, he then goes to the reddish and yellowish gumamela and transfers the pollen grain to its stigma. That scenario is called cross-pollination. Double fertilization. From the word alone, we know that two fertilizations occur. The pollen grain absorbs water from the stigma and grows an extension called the pollen tube. This is the pollen tube. The pollen tube elongates into the style until it reaches the ovary. It enters the ovule through the small opening of the ovule called the micropyle. In this stage, nakapenetrate na ang pollen tube into the ovule and into the embryo sac. If you remember, during our first video about the formation of egg cell in flowering plants, we know na sa loob ng embryo sac, meron tayong 8 nuclei. Meron tayong tatlong antipodals for the nourishment of the egg cell. And then we have two synergids which guide pollen tube for fertilization. And we have the polar nuclei which forms the endosperm for the nourishment of the growing embryo. Before releasing the sperm to the embryo sac, the generative cell in the pollen tube divides into two to form two sperm cells. So, dalawang sperm ang papasok sa embryo sac for fertilization. That's why the fertilization in flowering plants is called double fertilization. What happens next upon releasing the sperm cells? One sperm fertilizes the egg cell which forms the zygote. Remember, the sperm and egg cell both contain one set of chromosomes. Kaya ang zygote meron siyang two sets of chromosomes, or 2N. 
diploid siya. Another sperm unites with the polar nuclei, yung dalawang nucleus na nasa gitna. Since the two polar nuclei are both haploid, so meron silang tag-iisang set ng chromosome each per polar nucleus, at ang sperm cell ay haploid din, merong isang set ng chromosomes, and when they combine, they form a triploid. May tatlong sets or 3N na endosperm. Ano ang function ng endosperm? The endosperm supplies food to the growing embryo. After fertilization, the fertilized ovule becomes the seed and the ovary becomes the fruit. Let's have another trivia! Sa mga laboratory activities natin about sa sexual reproduction of flowering plants, we usually use a gumamala flower. And like other flowers, meron siyang pistil which has the ovule and ovary. Kapag na-fertilize ang ovule, it will become the seed of the fruit. At ang ovary ay magiging fruit ng isang flower. Pero nakita niyo na ba ang fruit ng isang gumamala flower? Meron ba siyang fruit? Yes! Merong fruit ang gumamela. However, unlike other fruits, they are not distinct since they are hidden and they are small. The fruits of gumamela are located under the flower. And they are actually capsules or pods na merong seeds sa loob. These pods can hold up to 20 seeds, which are about 3 centimeters long. In this picture, you can see that these white structures inside the pods are the seeds of the gumamela fruit. At since sila ay mga seed, pwede niyo silang itanim to grow another gumamela plant. Once the conditions are favorable at merong sapat na nutrients para sa seed, the seed will germinate. Meron tayong three main parts ng seed. Merong cotyledon, epicotyl, and hypocotyl. And upon germination, the seed germinates and a new plant is formed. The parts that we can see in the seed is also found in our new plant. For example, the hypocotyl, the one on the lower part, grows towards the soil and becomes the primary root of the plant. Then we have the epicotyl, which grows towards the light, or sa direction ng sun, to develop into stems and leaves. And we also have the cotyledon, which are the first leaves ng mga plant. It is the embryonic part of the seed, which stores nutrients for further growth. Before we have a short quiz, let's have a quick recap first. In this video, we discussed all about pollination and double fertilization, including self-pollination, cross-pollination, double fertilization, facts about gumamela seed and fruit, and seed germination. It's good time! I will give you three minutes to answer this short quiz about pollination and double fertilization. After 3 minutes, we will check kung may natutunan ba kayo in this video.
Time's up! Let's check kung tamang answers nyo. Number 1. It grows towards the soil and becomes the primary root of the plant. This is under seed germination. It is the hypocotyl. Number 2. This triploid part supplies food to the developing embryo. We have two key words. First, triploid and supplies food. The answer here is endosperm. Number 3. The ovule becomes the seed. What becomes the fruit? The answer is ovary. Number 4. Pollen transfer from one flower to another flower but in the same plant is called self-pollination. Magiging cross-pollination lang siya kapag another flower in another plant. Number 5. It is the small opening in the ovule. It is the micropyle which is penetrated by the pollen tube. Please comment your score over 5 in the comment section below and we will see if you really learned something in our short Shensh Amazing video. That ends our Shensh Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!